Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 33. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 11th of January, 2020. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I play Lord Eric Graham with the Human Sorcerer. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the Half of Druid. Hey, I'm Scott. I'm playing uh, Combar the Half Orc Paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Anastasia, a Wood Elf Rogue. Hi, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a Half Elf Monk. Excellent. And who remembers what happened last time? Pantharia! Pantharia, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, from me, that, really. And we're about to infect a whole set of his zombies, but yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. I have them well tied, okay? Maybe somebody in this team might be able to fix him. If not, we'll kill him, it's fine. <laughs> okay, savage. I mean, it is kind of the I'd law of the wild. I would not be the first one to attack him, but okay. Yeah. It is My... true, though, right? Like, I mean, an infected limb, you want to cut that off before it takes the host, right? Mm. So what, an infected person? You just try to cut the person off? Before you infect the city, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, let's see how it plays out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um, I plan on leaving him outside of the vicinity of mm -hmm. the place. Like, you, you dirty, you go away. The, um, well, where we left off was uh, Reach and Eric heading off into the city together while everybody else kind of hung about outside, about maybe about an as I say, about two hours, I guess, away. Three yeah, hours. it was two hours, we said, at the yeah. time. What, what were they going in for? Help. Yeah, because remember the part where they don't want to take that body we just discussed in? Um. Okay, I mean, that's one way of thinking about it. Yeah, so we can, we can easily have that conversation happen, right, before we switch to that because obviously Scott wasn't there for that so I don't mind just going back and just doing that little scene again but before we do let's do goals because everybody wants to believe in your soul um, um, 2-0 okay cool that's yours um, Eric well you ex it managed 2-0 do you think <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anymore um Good. I'm like kind of think. stuck between which one I should have. Like okay. active. Talk us through it then. What do you? What do you? What's in his head? What's well, it, what's your priority then? Like what? Like your? Because what? What's the reason you're heading into the city for? Family. Yeah, I was thinking that you were going to piss off, but don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, that that was going to be an in character conversation. Um, no, it's uh, to go. First off, to see the devastation he made, and see if it's like a big crater. You can catch uh, Shepherd before she hits the deck. <laughs> <laughs> I've been falling for four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> see what kind of shenanigans has got on there, um, and also possibly pay a trip to the Sophia family to see if they know about what happened, if they're even there. Okay. Yeah. It's I'm kind of in like it in between because if we go to where the estate was, then possibly there might be some sort of lead to the parents, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I mean there may be some sort of people left over as well. Possibly. Yeah, I, I just kind of think they're all floating in stasis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But they're also, we've been following for weeks and weeks. <laughs> There's a glitch in the matrix. Yeah. People have been throwing food into the mouth. Lost a stone in the last week. That's looking quite good. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, what do you want to have as your goal then? I think I might stick with it for now. Yeah? Okay. Happy with the wording? Sure. <laughs> That's my word. How dare you? Sure. Um, are you a bluebird? I'd like to revert my goal to trying to learn Infernal. Sure, yeah. Pop it back into its place. That's fine by me. Uh, Crumbar? I will as soon as I like, I'm, uh, I'm find quite that fine. map. Happy with yours, yeah? 
Yeah, happy with mine, no way. So, oh. no, no. Find out information about the Red Rope Man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kate Mr. Jo, come on down. <laughs> I still have no idea what to put as my goal. Like, So, the way to think of it is, right, so it's a, a kind of weird question between you as a player and you as a character, right? So, what do you want Kitty to do next, right? He's a dracker. So, like, let's summarise what has <laughs> happened, right? You met a spooky lady, she went, give me this weapon so that the world doesn't have it, because it's bad. Bad things will happen. Then you took the weapon to the abyss, and bad things happened. Then you went off and got involved with a princess, and then she rebuilt you, and then yeah, now you're. Quite the story. Yeah, <laughs> and then like, more. and you're starting to break bits of uh, the world with all these hell holes opening up, right? And then technically you went off we are doing none of that, by the way. <laughs> but okay, carry on. And <laughs> then you, oh, I'll get to used to. Don't worry. And then <laughs> you you went up north and sorted out some work problems. So no, we did do that. Mostly Crumber, to be honest. Absolutely Don't annihilated. Don't just get a big head. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Crumber? Even bigger? <laughs> um, so yeah, like... What is Kitlith's new focus? Like, do you... Because you did have... Try and discover more about how to close the hellholes on your own. But mm. you had the goal slotted, but then it either wasn't feasible or... Or you didn't pursue avenues for well, that? Well, it wasn't relevant, really, because we had, like, a few episodes where we weren't even near a hellhole. It was travelling, so... So that means that you think closing the answer to closing will be at the hellhole, which means should it maybe be you saying to... When you start deciding, do we go to the hellholes or up north? Like, moments like that, you'd then want to push her in to be like, right, let's go to the hillholes, please. If that's what Kitty believes, obviously. But, I mean, the world's full of magic people. And, you know, you were trained by one long ago. And mm. there was a whole city of wizards in Horizon. And Jastoria and whatnot, obviously. You want to keep her separate based on your goal wording previously. But it yeah. just depends what you think Kitty would do. Or what is her priority. Because demons are pouring in from hell through the abyss. That is the core threat, you could say, to the game. Mm. Which we are ignoring at the yes. moment, but yeah, carry on. Yep. <laughs> um, you were kind of, kind of trying to work out if what was happening up north was related though, so, you know, might have been loosely related. <laughs> well, I might put my goal back in, because if we're near, what's it? Cycle. You're just outside Glitter Higgin, you? Yeah? One of the capitals. Yeah. So then I might be able to ask Justoria if we have another meeting, like, yo, how can uh, I do this without you? Justoria is a different city. Yeah, she's in Horizon. Oh, yeah, of course she is. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I think it's more likely next session, by the way. I'm hoping for that. But. Mm -hmm. Just depends what you do, yeah. Like, um, depends how quick this goes, but yeah. Remember, you still have the bracelet on Arya's wrist yeah. as well, so... Mm -hmm. I mean, it has been something Breaking like, what, just emergency. five or... S it's probably been about five weeks since you last seen her, so... Yeah. yeah, I mean, she should be fine by now. That's enough long rest to get back to full health. <laughs> As she's there glugging away on her Justoria Restorias, yeah. <laughs> I know. God, I'll, oh God, I want one of them again. <laughs> um, so yeah, like, I don't know, what does everybody else think um, Kitty's goal could be? Because it doesn't need to be a solo experience in making the goal. It just has to be you that wants it in the end, so... Because um. it could be something like pursue... You know, I don't know, more magical yeah. allies, right? It could, it could be anything. It just depends what you. Uh, well, even immediately, this we've got a deadly, potentially deadly thing with this. You could be a bit more worried about it and more eager to kill it if it if it does turn. So, protect the people around it. Uh, ensure nobody around it gets hurt if this thing turns. Mm. Uh, if this person turns at the moment, it'll be a thing after it turns. Right. But isn't your plan though, Stu, just to like it's offload to stop it? it turning. Isn't it yeah, to offload it to the Golden Order? <laughs> hopefully, or <laughs> no, but yeah, but yeah. Because then that would kind of make her goal not work, if that makes yeah. sense. It's tricky, yeah. wording wise, because you don't get XP for doing nothing. So saying I'll protect everybody from him, if he's never a threat, that's not a thing that you can get XP for, if that makes sense. Which is why we've tied him down, because he's not a threat. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, <laughs> but that's again oh, your suspicions as a character, right? <laughs> 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 Just because he seems to be going a wee bit black and splotchy in such in places, right? Like you know, yeah. hard charcoaly skin in some places and weird white squidgy skin in other places. That's normal for half elves, right? Just be a bit prejudiced. <laughs> <could I be? laughs> um, to be fair, though, you and Arya, which I actually think was nice and not stated at all, because I don't think it was deliberate, but you are the two half elves, so I like that you were the ones investigating the other half elf. I like that right. personally, right. but I don't think that was ever intentional. Mm -hmm. So, back to Kitty, though. Um, yeah, like, what do you think Kitty wants to pursue? Because keep in mind, it can be like a long term or a short term goal. It doesn't really matter, but it just needs to be something that involves this is like taking up your focus, time, and like rolling efforts. Mm. You know? So, for example, obviously, like, if we look at Eric's, his is work out who Dekana is or was. So, really, he wants to go start investigating stuff in relation to that. Once he gets an answer, he can be like, cool, there's my XP because of the work I did. And that'll likely pull him and needingly pull you guys with him. So, you want something mm. similar to that. Right, not necessarily investigate the Canada, but again, if it was something like related to the Hellholes, or even if it was just, um, I don't know, find a way to support the Golden Citadel, you know, like what Reach had previously. Um, yeah, like just something about the world that you want to commit to for the time being, because it, it can change. It can change within an, an episode as well, if that makes sense. You can start off and going, yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother with that anymore. That's a problem for somebody else. It could, even, it could even be something like try and pull Eric out of his slump, right? Like it could, because you actually made efforts with him last session um, mm. to connect with him, and he does feel quite isolated right now. So it could be something as simple as that, but then that becomes a bit nebulous because then Callum decides when you get XP for that, really. But, I mean, that would be a, a whole bunch of RP and conversations and, you know, maybe some coaxing into better moods, right? But that yeah, could be something I mean, you did. I could help Eric with his quest because I'd know people. I'd maybe know how to look for certain information, maybe. But you can all help each other with each other's goals anyway. Yeah. So that's why you don't have a singular kind of party goal anymore. Um, so you can definitely help Eric with his, definitely. But you would need one of your own. And that can be similar, but not the same. Like the goal completing shouldn't complete everybody's goal, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. Does anybody else have any other suggestions that she could maybe use? Mm. I'm just going to put that back as my goal, because... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think really it's, it's worth having else. something slotted at least anyway. Um, and obviously if you want to change it, you can let me know as we go. Yeah. And Reach, I'm going to assume we're good, as is still, yeah, as per our previous good. discussion. Yeah, Get word yeah. to GGW about Gil. Yep, cool. Okay, okay. Um, Arya, you got nothing slotted yet? What's happened? Oh, good. It's done. I'm still looking for my history <laughs> to find the tab because I've. Somebody's already slotted it. It's me. updated. <laughs> somebody. Okay, cool. Thank you, somebody. <laughs> Perfect. Also, it should be shared with me. It should be in that folder. Um, that option at the left hand oh, side. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, I think I'm in theory. It. I think you can also star things as well if it makes it easier. I don't know what your organization system is because sometimes having a million starred things just makes it a second folder. So, oh well. Oh, I like stars. Uh, but anyway, everybody's got a goal so far, which is good. So let's get stuck in. I think we'll focus in on, I guess, Arya pretty much. So, like kind of halting the horse, pulling back a bit, and saying, "Cool, right, that says pretty much on a hill overlooking yeah. the valley that leads into the the north of Glitterhagen." So, Reach had maybe said at some point, "Like, let us know when we're about like a couple hours away, um, so we can kind of stop outside the city." So, you let the party yes. know that, and that's the part. I think we'll start there so that we can have yes. the planning phase. So, yeah, you ride up to the the caravan that's just halting and slowing everybody down and stopping. Yep. And um, I'll say this is as far as we go for now. Please ask they send their best positions and not, not just positions, how do I put this? Um, yeah, anybody enough, that could help with magical uh, illnesses? We don't want to risk bringing this guy into the city until we know there is a cure. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, uh, I'll go get to the gold set. Uh, gold order. Gold, golden order. Yeah, and oh, school set don't wait too too long. Yeah. <laughs> Just reach goes on his own quest all the way south. <laughs> Back in three months. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I've been nodding my head in a very serious fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, any, anybody else coming? I stand up and just walk, uh, walk towards him and go, I am. I'll stay with uh, Aria just now. So there's a question, right? Has in like the three weeks it's taken to get from the camp down to this part of the city? Or like just a, above the city. How's Crumbar and the attitudes of the villagers? Like, have you made any efforts to try and ease their nervousness or unease? You've been playing your instrument in front of them. Yeah, like what's Aww. like? Can you describe the like? Or has Crumbar not really cared? And he's been like, too many I, things going through his head. I am not gonna lie. Crumbar has not cared. He's just kind of kept to the back. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, I think it's that kind of way. It's like. I think, you know, as an orc, he's used to being, having people scared of him almost. Yeah. So it's like, in a way, it's like, yeah, there's no convincing people. Um, you know, and it's that kind of way, I'm like, I think it's that kind of way, it's like, well, all I can do is hope that they come to their own realisation. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. Yeah, so you're going to stay with the group, with mm. um, Kitty Aria. and Arya? Oh, it's Kitty staying as well. I thought she was. I think so. Cool. I don't know. Are yeah. You? Well, it doesn't need three of us to look after the room, does it? Nope. It doesn't. And to be Possibly honest, not. Yeah. Right, out of character, we be here. If anybody's going to follow me, I'd rather it's you, Kitty, and <laughs> you'll talk to it just because you can keep up. Uh, yeah, that's true. And, uh, <laughs> what are you trying to off, say? But, uh, that you're heavily armoured and to move slowly. Armor. I'm a chunky boy. Kind of like Alan Wayne as well. Chunk <laughs> bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's Chieftain Chunk Bar to you guys. Um, yeah, so Eric, Kitleth, and Reach all head off then. Um, mm -hmm. Cool. I was going to say, had it been two of you, you could have took the two horses as well. Um, so I guess we're on foot for this. Sorry, but, yeah. oh, that's okay. Alright, it happens. Now, you just head off Arya and Crumbar. Anything happening? I, yes. I, I, I guess you are just like getting everybody settled a bit then? Probably people yeah. are a bit yeah. nervous and such, being like, why, why are we stopping? Yeah, so I think it would just be a kind of explain that we're waiting well. People go will go in. ahead. They might be able to make some arrangements for you. But it's best they know exactly where to take you and what place would be safe there. And going really slow, having to let people know of what happened. We've got to be here. And how you're going to wait around while that happens and then finding out something. It would just make more sense. Does it just mean it's losing there? Yeah, no. you're roboting quite badly. Oh, that was just me. No. Do you want to try that a wee bit slower, uh, Adri? I can see your stats. That's annoying. So, was something wrong with Nope, me? still bad. It's still bad. <laughs> I thought it was me. It's not. It's all in Your internet, you've got packet loss by the sounds of it. Uh. I have plugged in my headphones. It's better. Much. A lot better. Much better. Sorry, try that again. So, people are starting to get a bit yeah. like restless at like you know the caravan, like where you have stopped. Um, yeah. Like a lot of people are like, why? Why are we stopping? Why aren't we heading in? Like, what? Why are we left with this thing? And like, it like creepily looking at the cart where Lauren lies. So I'm going to try to fib a bit, but also tell them the truth at the same time. So interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say that they are fast. They can go and report the situation very quickly, and in the meantime, um, they can also find out where we'd be able to to house you guys and keep you safe. Whereas if we all went at the same time, it would be much slower. You'd have to wait until 
they speak to the higher ups and and then until they find somewhere to accommodate you. So it just makes more sense for them to go to go to go on their own. Because obviously the entire I'm, I'm thinking that the caravan itself would be quite slow, whereas those guys left on a quite brisk pace. I mean, th I think though the reason why that might be a hard sell is that Crumbar and Arya are standing next to horses and they all walked away. So it seems oh, did they? it's a hard sell. Really? Really. So I, I think... didn't realize that they didn't take horses. Okay. So... Well, they're still they're still quicker than if they were oh. to walk with the caravan, I think. What right? speed is a horse? Uh, with one stuff horse that's power. carrying. I mean, I yeah, well, like... I'm faster than one horsepower. Oh. Yeah, but does that mean you're just running away ahead of those two? Um... I mean, let's put it this way, when you're in a caravan, you go at the pace of the slowest person. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> um, right, so I think what I need you to do for the people, though, is you can see them getting antsy and restless, so you're going to need to do something to try and, like, settle them, or they might just start heading past you. See, a horse, it can do 60 foot. Is that 60 foot full stop, or can I actually double up to 120? Yeah, I don't see why it can't do too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it has go in action. Yeah. Like all things. Yeah. So it can do one twenty per turn. Which I think Kitty's. No. No, I don't think you are faster than that anymore. No. No wait, you might be. Um, not as well. But My speed's thirty five. And then your cunning action lets you take a dash action, doesn't it? So yeah. Yeah. Are. So that is three. You get three thirty fives. So what's that just shy of horse speed then? Is that 115? 115. Yeah. Oh well, that's not bad. So you could actually keep up with a horse. It's, it's, it's a 105. 105, yeah. So yeah. again, still not bad. Um, yeah. I'm 100. Uh, yeah, you get so. to 100, yep. And that's just with your move and your action. Yeah. Can you go further with a key point? No? No, but a, a dodgy train wouldn't slow me down. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I mean, I think Eric would be walking 60 maximum, wouldn't right, you? Or right. running 60 maximum, sorry. Really? You could, yeah. Uh, you could argue that with them, we are as fast as the horse. Oh. I mean, you could. You'd be wrong, because you'd get there faster on a horse, but you, you could argue it. <laughs> they are villagers, after all. Um, but yeah, so at the village, like, I would need a roll if you want to calm them, or if you're just going to let them get kinda a bit more rowdy. What's what's the plan here, Arya? I'll because there are three weeks of uh, road like travel. Where... <laughs> yeah, but what I'm saying is, I'll I'll look like I'm making myself comfortable as well. Maybe look like yeah, we're, like, people should sure start walking off towards the city. We've been on the road for three weeks. What's a couple more hours? Yeah. Will you even know where to go there? And whom to meet with? And then, like, do you know people in the city? In the kind of volley of people that are heading off when it turns back and goes, do you? Yes, we know the Golden Yes, Orb. we've been here a few times. I mean, hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lord I, mean, I, think, I think the best thing would keep everyone contained because they don't know if that what that dude has is spread to them. So quite frankly, we need oh, to keep them quarantined. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that too. So, uh, What's the refugees? No, keep them, so we've got team heading to the city and then we've got team camp. So what are team camp doing before we switch to the other team? Um, well... Yeah, right. Your little caravan's get, breaking up. I was going to say, have the caravan settled down or are they still... As I said, they have started to walk off towards the city. Yep. Because Arya has said, they are faster, let's just stay here, sit down. And she sat down and got comfy. So they were like, yeah, um, we're not going to do more time. And, uh, yep. yeah. Can I... <laughs> the imitation game. Well, not just faster, but like, they need to first you know, report the situation and then the person who's reporting the situation customs. always needs to sort something out. <laughs> so I was thinking kind of like, you know, what the fuck would you doing? Sorry, foreign language. Going into a city and where, where 
you don't even know where you're going as a as a refugee. Where is going to be the the camp that we host you in? You know, the the place that the higher ups give us for this. Assuming you'll get anywhere. They they will. Once we tell them that there's a possible danger with these people, they'll want to have them all in the one place and under surveillance. I reckon. Just, it, just it doesn't have to be like lot. five star accommodation. It could just be like one big, two big shed <laughs> thing where where <laughs> they can be tended for for their wounds and looked at by medics and all that. I don't know. So yeah, so they start to like move some of the carts as well. Can I uh, roll intimidation? You can, but it might just get them to the city faster. Hmm. <laughs> I literally say one of one of us that's gone is a lord in within the yeah. city. That's a good point. Um, I think like as I've kind of, I've, I, I, how it's playing out in my head is Arya's kind of been like talking to them, like, "No, look, it's fine. Just, just be not like you know, just stay with us. It's okay. It's all good." Uh, but then, like, obviously, there's the ones that are like, "Nah, not listening to you." Um, and at this point, I've just stood up. I've just been like, "Listen here. The, they are leaving with a lord of that city, who is going to go and look into things for your benefit, uh, for your best interest. So I'd advise that you stay." There's also what? How many thousand gold there? Yeah, that's why they're taking the cart with them. Oh, yeah, they're taking the cart with them. <laughs> yeah. Right. Is that the cart with the, the zombie duck body? No, it? remember those were separate. Right, okay, yeah. Yeah. I um, thought it was just the food we had separate, okay, cool. Even if it, like, regardless of what it was, they it's put what they cars. wanted in yeah. the other cart that they were taking, they're definitely going to take him. They don't want anything to do with him. <laughs> he seems like a bad egg. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, but he tried to save them. Like, they're being ungrateful as fuck. I mean... He, remember the stories you were told by them? He was dumped in there, already yeah, unconscious, guess. so they don't know anything yeah, about him. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, they only know what we told them, which is what the, he was sent there to help. Yeah. So, they don't know that that's true, they just know he's a guy who should have been able to help them, but wasn't, so what were they supposed to do in that situation? Then you guys went in and just caused a whole load of noise and stuff, and yeah. Yeah, but we still helped. You'd think people would listen to what we say, but no. I mean, they've been with you for three weeks and you, you seem to be led by some kind of crazy orc man, so... <laughs> and houses have fell from the sky, so, you know. Yeah, but it fell on them, so, you know, what's the problem? It's not like they almost <laughs> killed by it. I love the idea that as they all settle in for that, they all just like, stare up praying, gonna be please don't let houses this, fall. I think, um, yeah, if anybody's going to be salty about it, I think Arya is the one that has the most right to be salty about, you know. Actually, Arya. Damn it, Eric. Like mm. Summoning your moving. house. Anyway, at the moment, because Crummer's been staying back out of the way, Arya's the one being leading the party. Mm-hmm. Physically. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Well, you're the one you were scouting ahead for over the year. Yeah, yeah. So, l- summarizing, is Arya going to try and cam the crowd down, or are we going to go with the intimidation route from the back of the caravan from Crumbar? What's happening? I wouldn't do it from the back of the caravan, you wouldn't get in front of them. Oh yeah, yeah, I'd be, I'd be up in front. So you go up in I'll front. I'll be trying to stop them as well, like they've not listened to me. Crumbar? No, oh, wait, oh. I, th- I thought you were meaning Aria. No, I mean, you you said you want to ride up to the front and then shout at them to like Yeah, yeah, that, them. like, yeah, and I said what I was going to shout at them, so... Yeah, feel free to roll intimidate. You can roll again. Oh, yeah. That's fine, that's fine. I wanted you to do it with advantage because they are already apprehensive about you. Mm. Oh, well. Yeah. 34 of them run in different directions. And, like, some of them go together with their kids. Do they leave the cart? Yeah. There is, um. Was that 11 left over? Those are the ones that were too scared to move. My lord, this. Okay, that wasn't the reaction I was hoping for. Um, what, you being I a scary w- orc? <laughs> I'm gonna do something and it's probably not gonna be very nice, but oh well. Uh, Ruger, take this string, tie them up. 
<laughs> left the car. Like so, yeah, they uh, just they just bolted and like they've made a run like out to the sides and then towards the. Three grand the up, whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I was thinking of doing is getting getting Ruya to like act like you know one of those like Australian sort of shepherd dogs, but from the air. <laughs> be like Ruya, shepherd them shepherd. towards here. Um, where she's I mean, doing they're that. gonna be afraid of a big bird with massive talons and shit, right? Yeah, I mean, I think I think where they would they'd be doing that, I'd kind of walk over to the remaining eleven and just be like, so out of everyone, there was only eleven of eleven smart ones out of you. Yeah, like a kid it's just like, bursts out crying. Mm. <laughs> it's uh, mum to rise, like shield it from me. Uh, why used to stay uh. here? Yeah, I think at this point as well. I think after that, I'd just kind of go like take take a wee bit of a step back, sit down, and just keep like sit down like and just watch them. I mean, remember the reason you did that was because you potentially think they could be infected, and you didn't bother telling him that. That's also smart, though, right? Yeah. I've seen every infection yeah. movie. You never tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, but it would be a reason for them to maybe think, oh, maybe we shouldn't go into the city, because if we are infected... No, quite the opposite. They would run into the city thinking... Which is what they're they doing now anyway, so... I know. But no. you wouldn't... Eh, what you would I have to roll sure. to try to hurt them via bird? I don't know. I mean, I don't think Ruya can hurt them. Well, you could have, like, Ruya, like, dive bomb them and knock them Actually, out. A, like... Yeah, an eagle clone. <laughs> 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 like... like <laughs> I think Ruya might get two I hits know, I mean, and done. If, what I'm thinking is, if I had this massive bird flying towards me, even if it doesn't get to me, I'd still start running the other way. So that's why I thought it may be the trying problem to is hurt wild, me a little bit. I was gonna say, a Ruya, wild cat might be fast and able to hurt them. So Ruya is a hawk and Crumbar I, I is a nightmare. There. Right? <laughs> so can you see why they might not give a crap about your hawk? No, oh, but see... I, I could, you know, as I received that little bit of inspiration there, I could just make myself into Panthari again and try to hurt them myself. Mm -hmm. So let's let's draw a map, right? Let's let's draw a map. Let's go to <laughs> kind of horrible, so. but but it's like I don't want to be mean to them on purpose, but I also don't want them to possibly, you know, bring a freaking zombie epidemic into the city, so... Kill them. So, no. Uh, okay, Cavill. Um, yeah, we I'm not it. evil! Like, dude, <laughs> you only played the one character! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we really cannot do that. Yeah, that'd be horrible. Speed 50 feet, you're fast as a panther. So, let's see... I can climb at 40 feet. That's almost keeping up with me, by the way. <laughs> so let's move here, right? Let, here we are, right? So, map time. Let's see if we have. Map time? Oh, good. So, here is the city, yeah. right? So, there's Glitterhaven, right? There is our I've not seen any of this, by the way. Oh, right, okay. Character sheet. Right. That doesn't know why you're not seeing any of it. Like, here we go. There, does that help you? And then, eh. Uh, where are we? Okay, so that is the group heading towards the city, and then we've got... From the north. <laughs> uh, it's the way the map's oriented. Like, yes, it's <laughs> okay. If you, if you want that, th there you go. <laughs> like, it's completely fine. Um, and then you've got here the caravan, and then you've got 34 people that went in all different directions away from Crumbar and Arya and the Liven that stayed behind uh, so the ones to the right and the same direction as Crumbar but yeah so like all of them probably are aiming to try yeah. and get to the city obviously right that's the same direction as Crumbar by the way but yeah that is not it was Crumbar was in front of them uh, yeah, but yeah. now Crumbar is there. Yeah. Right, right. It does look like this map has an AC of 34 now, to be honest. 
um, yeah. quite frankly. Not good, you win. I mean, a crit is still a crit. So, <laughs> so that is the problem we have here, where Crumbar, because remember, Crumbar moved to the other 11 as well. Um, you moved what? Crumbar has moved to the 11, remember? Aye, but that was after the intimidation. But yeah, yeah, but um, this is for Arya now. We have moved yeah. past that scene, Stu. So we're now at the part where Arya where is the, trying to debate where, what she where, can do with a... Uh, would that help if I no, just gone? No, don't be daft. I like Missy. Get out of here. <laughs> um, so, the the reason I'm drawing this map, which is now equally as for Stu's benefit as for Adri's, is a to as a panther. To me how difficult it is to as perfect. a panther, you're going to try and chase down people, and then what? When you get to a group of people, right? So let's say there, even if they were in twos or threes, right? You get there, you're a panther. What do you do? Do you just maul them? You can't well, speak to the them. plan is no. to get like intimidate well, I mean, again. The plan is to get like <laughs> in front of them and like then have my back towards the city and like you know like get closer and closer and just force them to like back off, possibly by growling a little bit at them. Because okay. I don't mind if they start running. Uh, let me see which way I can. I just don't see how one panther could stop 34 people, but yeah. I mean, yeah, what I mean, guess. can you do it with just... 34 sheep? Yeah. I mean, I've got two casts of whole person, so I could stop two of them. <laughs> the peasants are not that smart. A lot less clever than that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've come to the conclusion that without even telling them why they should stay there, they've, you've just scared them off to the city. And they're hunting so... them down as a panther. <laughs> yeah. With a panther in front of them, I'm sure they're not smart enough to go. Oh, we'll just all run at it. They'll probably just... I don't know. Well, I mean, they'll bump into you guys, so... If I had wife and child with me, I would not be running at a panther with them. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's less than I do. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So Very how far have we got away from this lot? Yeah, it's it's not as important as a, this. You just don't notice this happening, sadly. Um, we don't see people sprinting away from that direction. They're probably yelling though, and they're, they're doing as well, especially when I start transforming into a panther, just saying. So, they I imagine some people would freak out a bit when a random person just becomes the panther. So, do you want to become a panther and try this, or are you going to do something else? Yeah, like, that's I the want important to bit here. become a panther and like, get to like as close to the guys in the X so that I can then you know, go the other way around. Because I don't care if the people go, well, which way is this? Well, the way the arrows are up and down, you know? I don't care if they go that way. I'm just going to try to, like, put myself between them and the city. There's just a lot of space just... between you and the city, that's all. Like, I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So the problem with that, though, is... I'll try efficiency. Because and... like, if you went out, right, so look at it this way, so they all spread here. out right, to try and get away from Crumbar, right? So just they fan mm -hmm. out and try and head towards the city. They're not in one big group. So if you then try and stop a group of them, they're going to run away from you. So are you going to run after the other split-off group and then leave that group to then keep running? Do you see my problem with that? Like, I don't see how yeah. you, you as Same one person... Sheep. But sheep are herdable because it's their mentality, these people so are aren't. crowds. Crowds are. A crowd is a sheep. I mean, I well, think I've just stated this crowd isn't, though. Right. So, I just don't see how you as one entity are going to round up 34 people. Right. I would reckon yeah. it would work. Was... Crumbar's having a sit down anyway. He's like, right, I've tried, failed. Well, you're currently guarding the 11 yeah. terrified people. Guarding is a is a is an interesting choice of words. Yeah, so it's intimidating well, I mean, people to so the they gates can't move. would the gates would be guarded. They're gonna see all these people running at them and they might be like, What's going on? Yeah, that orc screaming at us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but if I could turn into a panther, run ahead of them, get in get in touch with the guards, obviously change back and be like, look, we need to stop these people getting into the city, they I could mean, be infected. Arya could reach you just before he's got inside. Probably. Yeah. If you pick something fast enough. But yeah. I'm hoping not, actually, because <laughs> she can be So this is a conversation we're going to have quickly. But yeah. <laughs> well, so, quite frankly, we need to tell these people that we are getting help to them, that they don't need to come into the city. Yeah. 
So I think, Arya, we need a kind of decision. Are you going to try and become the panther and herd them up, or are you going to try a different tactic? Because I think we need an answer on that. I don't way. have any other idea. That's the only thing I was sticking with. The only reason why I was sticking mm -hmm. with that one. No, yeah, I mean, it's, it doesn't need to be a another idea. If that's the idea you want to do, she that can could... reach one side of the group uh, yeah, from one side of the group to the other side of the group in one turn. Because they're moving at probably 30, 60 at the extreme most. She can do more than that in one turn. So are you? What is the plan? You tell me. Yeah, because that was what I actually wanted to do. I just wanted to move past them all and then be all threatening and like that sort of thing, but... So are we shape-shifting and running through the crowd? Or are we... Because keep in mind, they're not in one big clump. I know, I know, through but them, I'd run I'd around them. Running, yeah, like exactly, I'd be them. running around. Yeah. That's the thing, I'd always be wanting to run around them, so whichever way is the, the, the shortest, it would run around them and also get essentially to the party, that would be... That would be the, the way I'd Could so, Gads from Glitterhagen see this or not? Is it too far away? Three hours, probably too far, yeah. yeah. Can't you see three hours wa uh, walking distance? It's not like that, though, it's just there's also like terrain in the way, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You well, tell me what you're doing. You were stood on a hill, that was all. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, so that's what I was wanting to. I was wanting to like go around them. Okay, so are we shifting? Yeah. Becoming a panther? <laughs> right, so mark off one of your uses of wild shape. Yep, yep. And then, I guess, like, speed's what, 60 normally for a panther, is that right? Or is that... 50, that just... It was 50 or 100 in total, but yeah. Cool, oh, so... What's the 60? No, what's... Yeah, good, I had it there for a minute. To be honest, oh, wait, have... I've got it there. Arya should have it 50. on our character sheet anyway, so... Yeah. It's 50 and climb 40, but yeah. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, 50. 50, 50, 50. Okay, so. I wish that's 150. That would be nice. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, so you run around one side, right? You get yeah. 50 feet towards one side. They've had yeah. at least an attempt to start running, so if they ran first and then you're following up, they're at least 60 away. So you could double okay. move to get in front of them. Yeah. But then you don't have an action. I don't... Yeah, but I don't want to actually have an action. I just want to, like, basically be in front of them and look threatening. Exactly, which would be an intimidation role. Which is well, an action. Even if you'd well, be in yeah. front of them and look friendly. As <laughs> a father... Yeah, uh, if I just get in front of them, that would still be like... Uh, what? <laughs> now they'd literally like bolt in a different yeah, direction, but they're not. But they're not going to run back yeah. towards the orc. <laughs> it's fine as long as they're not running towards the city. That's fine. That's what I'm wanting to do, to just prevent them from running towards the city. Because if they are infected, then you know they can't really hurt anybody here in this whatever wilderness we wilderness we are in right now. But if they go towards the city, who knows if it is contagious then. They might spread it to okay. all the people in the city, so, which would be bad. Well, speed this part up then, right? You move a hundred, you get in front of a group of them. It's about five of them, say, right? Mm -hmm. You get there, it's their go. They run a hundred, oh, sorry, 60 feet in two different directions from you. What do you do now? Go, and the ones that are going towards the city. They're both them. Both like Ving out. So again, if we go back yeah. to our, our ridiculous diagram, let's change color and we'll go let's for so green. So let's see. see we've got some going that way. And right. Some so going we've got Arya, who's a panther, and then okay. that was the group. Well, she had to go around them, so she didn't go through them. So she didn't go through in the middle. She had to go around the side. Yeah. Either we're, uh, east still, or west. still, we're focusing on purely the green. So that is the yeah. group she's in front of, regardless no, of where. Regardless of where anyone else is, she wanted to get in front of a group, yeah, right? Yeah, but by going around them to get... It doesn't, to doesn't, doesn't matter is, how she got there. She had to have gone through them. 
Just yeah, do yeah, there. it. How, how? Explain this to me, right? So let's the root would be there, and that's going no, through them. No, because that's you're looking at the red color. Yeah, the red color is the people. No. So what did I just say two seconds ago? Focus on the green only. Yeah, but how did the green happen? By the red. Stu. <laughs> Do you just not understand any of the words I'm saying? Like I can repeat. Focus on the green area. Ignore Stu. That is the group you're trying to stop. Right there. Mm -hmm. That is where you have got to, regardless of anything else on the map. And that is the directions they run from you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. And the city is still this way. From you. What group do you go for? Left or right? I can easily say three and two if it was five originally. Neither. I'm going to run a bit more towards the city. Right, okay. Yeah. So that I can... Try and still block like, off more of them. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, cool. So, so that get they get the idea that running towards the city, uh, there it's gonna get them straight into me. Like I don't want to like chase them and scare them uh -huh. that much. I want to herd them. So I, I want to, them not to come towards the city. So I want to make it look like going towards the city is the threat. So that's where I do not want you to go. So I'm thinking that if I go a bit more towards the city, and mm. then maybe roll for intimidation so that I look. You know, scary. Like maybe I'm pacing around, looking like you know, dare you know, dare you to come closer to me, or you'll be in trouble. Um, if I manage to do that, then whichever way they'll run, if they go up, if they go down. It's not going to matter as long yeah, as they're not so running towards the city. The group that was split off, so you got obviously left and right. If you run back thirty, and then do you want to run back? Sorry, fifty. Sorry, back fifty and do an intimidate, or do you want to go back a hundred? No, no, I don't. I don't want to run back. I want to run a bit more towards the That's city. What I'm that's what I mean. Towards the same. Oh, oh. Yeah, backwards sorry, from those back. from that group oh. is what I really mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So is it fifty or a hundred you want to run? Because one would give you an action, one won't. No, I'll run fifty and I'll try to look intimidating. Okay, cool. And do you want to roll intimidate as the panther? Yep. One second. So that would be off of charisma, I believe. Charisma? Isn't it? Yeah, it's charisma. Oh shit! I have shit charisma as panther. Guess what? People aren't really charmed by panthers. Your um, DC is Crumbar's intimidate. I don't know what that one was. At nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's the. Ouch. What are they more scared of? You or him? Right. Yeah, in that case, I can't achieve that because even if I rolled the twenty you with a minus two, is it still not nineteen? For charisma. Yeah. So scary be. orc is always going to be scarier than the panther. So unless you're physically going to try and stop people, you as a panther, as just being a panther, cannot stop them all. I'll just try to go for the larger group. Or whoever's yeah, like to try and stop like, off the the others. Yeah, whoever's so, quickest, whoever's youngest, or that sort of thing. Like if there's groups that are a bit slower to begin with, I'm not gonna go for them. But I I'll primarily go for the you know yeah. the groups that were supposed to get there quickest, the the youngest guys or the biggest group. If there's a group of seven and a group of three, I'll go go with the group of seven sort of thing. So I think I've rolled on our dice for this as well. You can get thirteen you can round up, but you would need to do something like switching back to be like, by the way, you know, to actually solidify your control over them. Because you definitely can't, as a panther, communicate that to them. Oh, like to actually tell them why we don't want them in the city or? Uh -huh. You would need to do something to, like, you can maneuver enough of them, which is 13 of the 34. Sure. But then, once you've maneuvered them at a point, you would need to do something, or they're just going to scatter again. Okay. Okay. Um. In that case, fuck it. I'll just tell them. We want <laughs> to get doctors to you first. Well, I'll 
switch back. Yeah, of course. I assumed you would have. Yeah. <laughs> Instead I'll, of just roaring at me. <laughs> We're not just being stubborn here. We want to make sure that you're all okay before we bring you in a city full of people. And I think that, that most of the responses are panicked, like confusion at the fact that you're a panther, and also the what's wrong with us. Well, did you not see that guy there? He was in the same pen with you guys, and he's getting worse and worse. I can't figure out what's wrong with him. So those guys are going to come with some medics very quickly and figure out what mm -hmm. is. I don't want to bring you back into the city. If everybody's got whatever he has, then it's best that none of us go to the city first. It's a danger that they went anyway. And do you want to give me a like. persuasion for that? And we'll see how well that goes. Yeah, I figured I'm going to have to. Sure, okay, one sec. Yeah, so zero on persuasion. Fun, fun, fun. It's better than the panther. Okay, I'm using a luck point. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it is better. <laughs> Do you want to use another luck point? Yeah. It's got your breathing heavily on your mic. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Do that my hand from my face. <laughs> my hand, <it> <laughs> oh, come on. What are the chances? They are getting better, though. Yeah, so it's two luck used so far. Yeah, yeah. Do I use all my luck with them? Damn, I do. How many do you have? She's three. got thir oh, three luck points, she got 13 people. Yeah, but if I don't, if I fail, then they're going to run towards the city. I'm guessing maybe not a lot of people in the city will want to kill us or whatever, so fuck it, I'll use the last one as well. 14. Oh, oh my. <laughs> wow. Oh, well. So game... either way, I fail at this, like, honestly. This game hates you. Yeah, the RNG in this really does. Yep, that's like, some Like, with rolls. actual dice, the chances <laughs> of rolling under 10 four times in a row, I don't think would be that. Bad. I mean, it does happen, right? It's, that's why we play with dice. Um, yeah, they don't seem convinced at all. They, um, oh, really? They mostly feel like... I don't know, it's hard to get. Do you want to roll insight? So who's betting I'm going to get, like, 20 on this? <laughs> okay. No, not quite, but better. You can tell a lot of the problem was Crumber. Put it that way. It's like, not only are they already concerned about the fact that they've spent who knows how long with this uh, possibly infected paladin, and the fact that a paladin of the Golden Order turned up already beat up didn't inspire them with much confidence. So you've now got them worried about what you've told them now. You've not really convinced them that they should wait. You know? Um... They kind of just went away from the scary orc that screamed at them. I'm not that scary. A 19's pretty fucking scary, but... To them, yes, you are. <laughs> well, I'll be like, Yes, I know Crumbar's one big freaking oaf and he scares everybody, but he means well. We all mean well. We wouldn't have helped you all the way here if we didn't mean well. Hmm. Yeah, I think they just. Um, I know they won't believe me, but yeah. Yeah, like. See, that's that against us. I think we're being ungrateful. I mean. Yeah, no, that's what I get for using all my spells and all my good berries and whatever to keep people alive. Mm. Spell three grand up. <laughs> yep. I suppose priorities, eh? <laughs> that's a good donation to the Golden Order, I guess. Yeah, it is. Um, okay, could pay that woman back for that bowl. Members of the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think. We fade out on you guys with the, the defeated Arya, sadly, attempting to like wrangle these people. You still get 11 terrified people back at the, the caravan, and the other 34, yeah, like 21 are already still running in the wilds, 
and these 13 are just like... Eleven wise people. <laughs> Ten wise people and a small crying child. Um, but to be fair, if they're wise, maybe it's because they're left with all the money. Right. Meanwhile, the other three people... Yes. Yous are, do you want to have that conversation before you go in the city, or as you are heading in? As we're heading in early That's on, just cool. want to ask, Eric, are you going to the Golden Order, or are you going to your house? I'm going to my house. Right, okay, or we'll run ahead. Where it used to be. We'll run ahead then, and try and get to the Golden Order quickly. Okay. Right, right. Is the plan to meet back up, or...? That's a... Yeah... Pro, pro, to be honest, we've no idea. I know we've got no idea what will be happening when he gets there, so I wouldn't even ask. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, we'll figure that out later. But he knows where we are. I mean, know roughly where he is. Uh. I mean, yeah, you've been to his house before. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. So you just run off. Um, unless Kitty's saying Could anything I to the group <laughs> Leave my bird with him. So, like, if he needs to get in touch with us, that could fly off and find me. Because I, mean, I know after a certain distance, I lose sight of being able to see through its eyes, but that doesn't mean it just disappears. You could just tell the bird to keep an eye on him, yeah? Like, yeah. you don't even need it to necessarily, like, go with him specifically. Did that come through? I think the connection... Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Cool. Cut off a bit for me. So you don't need right. it to cut, kind of, like, specifically go with him. It could just, like, follow him, right? But yeah, you could give it to him tell as well. Tell the bird. Don't need yeah, to tell just him. just sit on his shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> it depends if Eric would care. I guess. I mean, you don't care about much at the minute. I just, I sort of unzip the little reality that it's in, this little dimension, pull it out, and just be like, keep this with you. If you need us, just send him off, he'll find me. And like, just plonk him on his shoulder. Just look at the bird. The bird looks at you. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Got any seed? Well, got any meat in bird? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Got any> dead mouse. <laughs> Starts becoming a DJ, like, um, <laughs> so yeah, you head off then. I am um, used both running for the Golden Order, yeah, yeah, full cool. speed, right? Yeah, ish, 100 to enemy, right? <laughs> As she pulls ahead of you ever so slightly. <laughs> Actually, no, we decide you're 95, right? I'll slow down to 95, right? I should yeah. 105. That's, no, oh, was it? Yeah, 105, yes, you slow yeah. down for me. <laughs> <laughs> Use that five feet to stretch every now and then. I start doing Captain America laps. Oh, on your left. <laughs> on your left. Um, maybe your Tabaxi could have done that. Sadly, you're not as fast as. Yeah. But it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's disgusting how fast your Tabaxi was. Because um, it was just dub double that, right? Um, mm. Right. So yeah, you just head in. You just get to the the Golden Order. Um, you just head into obviously. And you just maybe start to catch your breath a bit. The um, Person, like the attendant, if you will, at the desk, just kind of looks up, sees both of you, kind of just like waits for you to kind of catch your breath. <laughs> Not as fit as I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you ain't a cat anymore. <laughs> nope. You used to be perfect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, kill us. A lack of pecks in the neck. <laughs> yeah, okay, well. <laughs> By the way, just out here. Uh, Crumbar, you've got a bonus to running. Aggressive. No, it Do doesn't. No. no. Right, it's only Phil works, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's only Phil works together. Right, okay, got you. I was wondering about that. Right, okay. Right, okay, carry on. And that's only towards um, foes. Enemies. Well. Yeah. yeah. Which is pretty much everyone. That's... I mean, it depends on your mood, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you wake up and hate everything. Yeah. That's just me every day. <laughs> I just love that Angela Jolie reference from Tomb Raider movie. The house is trashed. The guy just looks around. <laughs> I just woke up and hated everything. <laughs> so good. <laughs> anyway, in this scene, uh, yeah, you said then you catch your breath. Order Paladin woman's just looking at you both. That kind of smile where her lips are pressed together, kind of like, okay. <laughs> She's just staring. Well, I'm still catching my breath. Who's this? Sorry, what paladin so woman? This is the paladin woman who's at the desk of the order hall. Right, we've reached the order. Oh, right. Yeah, you have exactly. got in and you're catching your breath because yeah. he's bolted. Yeah. That was a quick run. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, we've... 
Right, we've been to the villages north. The troops that were sent there have all but one been killed. Uh, their leader is ill with a magic illness, and we are worried that the vill there was 30 odd villagers with them. We are worried they're contagious with this disease as well, with this illness. We need help urgently to the north of the city. She kind of like her brow furrows over, and then she looks at me and she's like, Troops north. Now, I don't know if this is maybe Stu misremembering, Troop. but yeah, like Single. remember only one paladin was sent up to investigate yeah. what was going on, and then yeah, if, more were needed, if more were needed, they would. Uh, all right. I thought yeah. he had an armor, armor, armory, uh, army. With army? Him. No, he was wearing his armor. That was it. Um, no, it was just him. And then you were going up to like check in with him. He was sent to investigate, and if more were needed, he was okay. going to come back and get more. I am to stop it. We were looking for an army at one point to help us, so just as well we didn't find them. Yeah. No wonder we didn't find them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, most of the, like Slalba said, the reason why they only sent one when you were chatting to him was because most of the resources have been sent to the Citadel. So there isn't really an army present, like a Golden Order army anyway, present in uh, Glitterhagen at the moment. So. They're going to want to change that very soon. <laughs> well, there might be a new army. Uh, there might not be a nice army, but <laughs> yeah, so the person's like, um, okay, the commander's upstairs, if you want to talk to him. Yeah, off we go, up north, upstairs. Yeah, so <laughs> you said upstairs. Pointing towards the north. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you head in, and Slalbus is there at his desk. Right. Urgent news, uh, we've just came from the north. The paladin you sent north is ill with a magic illness. This appears to be changing him. And he was penned up with 30 odd villagers that survived the, the attacks in the north from the orcs. Uh, we're worried they might be contagious with whatever the paladin's got. The paladin's near, near death or possibly worse at the moment, just three hours north of the city. We need help there quickly. And Slalbus is kind of like scratching his little gnome beard, and he's like, "Dark days. Where and they're north of the city now, you say?" Yes. Any idea what is wrong with the paladin? Any herbalism wouldn't help at all. So, if our druid suspects it was magic that was caused it. And it, he appears to be changing. He's going turning black and uh, blotchy. As well, if it's anything like a thing we met up in the north in the Orc uh, encampment, it's it could be very bad. And as for the north encampment, what happened with that? Uh, all the Orcs there are dead, and the encampment itself is now empty. Uh, they had magic that they they were deformed themselves with magic and they used it to create one massive creature which we fought. They all kind of merged into one magic creature. All season. Yeah. <laughs> the ghostly voice. <laughs> Both Reach and Slavis do that look to the left and then back at each other. Um, yeah, it's this paladin, if, you, if anything similar is happening to this paladin it could be disaster. So Yes, that's... it was smart not to bring him in the city. Um, yes. We will send scholars to look at him, if it is magical also, in nature. Right, there is also 30 villagers that have been penned up with him for probably at least a week, uh, maybe two weeks, so we would need them looked at as well. Uh, yes. It, it would be best to um, keep them secure outside the city. We wouldn't like to start a panic. Yeah, that's what we thought as well. <laughs> well, let's not meta games too. We're here. We're in this scene. <laughs> oh, my, that's exactly what I would have said. Yeah. That's why we've kept and, them um, away there. Don't do anything about anything. Yeah. And uh, it says, I'll send word to some of the the more magically inclined amongst us, and we will we'll send them north. So, like, you exchange details with them um, and whatnot. He kind of gets off his like chair and walks around and goes and like kind of shakes your hand, like gripping like your your forearm and stuff. And uh, he says, 
Thank you for at least recovering one of our fallen, if this is indeed the end of Lorraine. But hopefully it is not. We need all the people we can. The Citadel has taken all of our resources currently. We are stretched thin of late. Well, this could get out of hand quickly, so we need to jump on it right now, because otherwise, yeah, I think our stretches will be pushed beyond the limit, if, okay. it's, if I suspect what yeah. might happen. And he like, puts his two hands like, clasped behind his back and he starts pacing up and down. He says, I think I'll hold off informing the royal army until we can learn more. I'd be yeah, tempted like, to have them on ready just in case, to be honest, but it's up to you, of course. And then he kind of like starts scratching his beard again and says, I think um, they would be disinclined to want 30 possible liabilities running around a less than completely secure city at the moment. And he slowly kind of nods. And his implication there, you know, you don't even need to roll to know that, but his implication is the Golden Order would probably do more than the Royal Army if anything happened to the city, but there's, yeah. like, nobody in the Golden Order really here anymore. Um, on the plus side, it does mean it's like an empty barracks, right? Yeah, so, get a choice to bed. So that's a thing. Um, it's also maybe somewhere you could try and store 45 people, um, yeah. potentially. I love how Ryan's basically just... Let's make it this conversation about how Crumbar has fucked up. <laughs> I mean, y you chose to, and I did say there yeah. would be things that happened because of that. So, I'm not going to stop you doing it. <laughs> you want to shout at scared people? You can. But you, uh, but I think deep down you know that you really should have stopped me. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> so really, this is all your fault. No, I don't think so. I think it's the dice rolls. You're only 19, man. That's a damn good intimidate roll. You do know you have a really damn good charisma score. Um, yep. Right, so Slobus, um says, uh, is there anything um, else you can tell me about the northern attacks? Anything else I should be aware of? Uh, is is Kitty just here, like, sat in a chair Kit as well? Yeah, Kitty is here, so <laughs> please hold me <laughs> uh, well, how would you describe about Dakana? What does she do? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I just want to deal with that. Yeah. Well, was she, uh, we were accompanied by her, and uh, she turned against us. Or what? Because I can miss that. But oh. um, she didn't exactly turn against us. She just sort of used us for information and then vanished. I think the sad thing is only really Crumbar knows what happened. Really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, I don't know anything. To you say just know that Crumbar said she disappeared after pushing him through a tree. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's about so it, really. Nothing to say about that anyway. That's okay. Uh, Plus, he wouldn't have known about the anyway, right, Slabus? No. So yeah. it's not like it's on his list. <laughs> well, then, yeah, I think yeah. Well, at least five or six villages up north have been destroyed. That's about mm. all I know. That's... Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, no. yeah, and he says. Uh, Obviously, do you say 30 or do you actually say the 45, which is the number? Uh, I don't know what number it was, I'll say just was. I had that's to okay, say yeah. 34 earlier, so that's what I said, yeah. Right. So whatever the number was, because I'm yeah, sure fine, I yeah. them in the three Aye. weeks it took us to get here. Yeah, yeah at least, yeah. <laughs> Every day do roll call, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, you say 45 and he kind of scratches his head and he's like, I don't know if um, the city has resources to store 45 refugees for long given that they might be uh, infected, as you put it, by some unknown magical effect. However, we do have, and he does look kind of around his office a bit, and he's like, we do have room here, but it would be a tight squeeze, but I feel like we'd be quarantining them here. And he kind of yeah. just looks at you like, and he's looking straight at you, uh, which, in the sense of, is it worth it? Is the look that's in his eyes? What a quarantine in them? As in, uh, do you want to take the risk and bring forty-five people into this barracks? And while you can quarantine them in here, it doesn't mean to say nothing bad will happen. If there's uh, anything bad that could happen, so he's kind of saying, "Is this worth it?" Well, if uh, I'm trying to think, what would have been? Uh, we'd, 
the option is having a CR5 monster. Slow bus goes, what's a CR5? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, so far we've done, what, three weeks of travelling with them? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And they haven't started to show any signs, I don't think. If they have, they've hidden it. Yeah. But none of them are at the stage like the paladin. You didn't look is. them over either, sadly, so... No. No, we just so, get them more so anyway. So. Yeah. Let's, let's stop here and rest and have some water. Is anyone injured by travelling? Should we have a look over... <laughs> Why are you yeah. waiting three weeks and just outside the city to do this? No reason! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you putting a yellow sticker on me? No reason! <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Yeah, like Slobas like kind of sure. nods and kind of scratches his beard in deep thought, and he's like, "If you can get them in, we can obviously look them over here." But you know yourself, like it's not like the the order hall isn't at the outer, like it's not the north gate. Do you know what I mean? So it's you'd have to go through bits of the city um, to get to it. Sadly, it's actually closer to the south of the city, but you could bring them here, is what he's saying, if you wanted. Uh, mm. He'll send somebody to look over them, like a medic from the Golden Order, but he's also going to get some other like magically inclined people to go and try and suss out what's up with Loren. Um, he says he'll organise that. Obviously, are you telling him anything else about the... Because um, he did ask, is there anything else I need to know? So, regardless of the canna, are you telling him about what else Nothing. happened? Nothing. No. No, because we've got that in the house landing on some people's heads is pretty much a material. The red robe man? No. Red robe man? Did we meet him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we, did, we yeah. fought him. He's now the red skeletal looking man. Do you remember that? Alright, yeah. Uh, we also <laughs> met the person who's been opening up the ah, the flaming holes. Yeah, the hell holes. You can say hell holes, yeah. yeah hell holes, yeah. That's, uh, uh, his eyes go wide at that. He was working too. with the orcs. So our suspicions were correct. The orcs are related to the hell holes that are opening. At up. least those. At least those orcs were anyway. Yes. It kind of like waves a hand as if that's what I meant. Like he does that because he, you know, he's not trying to say all orcs are bad. He's it's um, not racist good, right? Yeah. Like he's <laughs> was that his new alignment? Racist good. Uh, <laughs> so he uh, he kind of waves a hand as if you know what I meant, and he starts again pacing up and down, and he's like, and you survived the encounter? Uh, it was close at times, but yes, Crombar uh, was a great help. And he says, was? And he kind of looks at you slightly narrow-eyed, with a bit of concern in his face. It was it, he's still alive. It was a great help during that fight. Uh, How did he take the uh, events? And you, you can see, like he's starting to like tap his thumbs together in front of him, rather aggressively, which was what was needed at the time. And he kind of looks like nods. Says, Good, perhaps he was correct. And he kind of just nods, kind of to himself. In deep thought. It's like, you know, downstairs we'll have a what you need. And he kind of just like waves at the door and kind of like paces up and down a bit. Excellent. We need about five sacks to carry all the gold with them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, we're going to need a lot more than that. <laughs> so yeah, just head back downstairs then. Because you'll have... Yes, by the way, I didn't say that. I assumed you didn't yeah. say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, I don't think it'd be that far-fetched if you wanted to find five sacks on the way back out of the order <laughs> hall if you really wanted them. But it's anyway... Okay. Yeah, like by the time you get downstairs and stuff, um, there's already a paladin waiting for you. Yep. Um, they seem to be more like similar to dressed to the way you wear your robes. This person seems to wear robes, so they seem to be more like a mage in some fashion. Um, and they've got like a big backpack full of stuff, and like you can see like herb, you know, sticking out of it and whatnot. So they clearly look like a healer. Um, and then he just smiles, um, and that kind of, you know, a, sm a completely empty smile, you know, where it's like, Okay, let's go. You know, kind of. I'm being polite. Um, <laughs> let's get this over with. <laughs> yeah, because it's like he's obviously drew the short straw of I get to go possibly infect myself. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, right. Let's get this guy a name though. Let's give him a name. Uh, what race do you want him to be? Doesn't really matter what race he is. So. Dwarf. 
Cool, he's a dwarf. Done. I was about to say a fast <laughs> race. You know, shut up. <laughs> I was going to suggest an elf, like a full elf. Uh, right, so we've got a dwarf. and uh... yeah. Are we going to pick him up, just take turns juggling in between? Yeah. Throw yeah. people. You'll have to toss me. Um, <laughs> <Yeet>. <laughs> Don't tell the elf. Things up to yourself. It's yeah. gonna be lit. Dwarf name generator. Yeet. Um, <laughs> not calling him Yeet. Uh, Call him Yeetus. I'm trying to think red coat equivalent name, but that's. Uh. Um, Naldrum. That's his name. Naldrum. N a l d r u m. Naldrum. Naldrum Yetus. Naldrum. Dwarf. Paladin. There you go. You got somebody. So, he does that. Let's get it over with. Smile. And then you just head off. Uh, and obviously Slobass will make the arrangements for some other scholars to like meet you outside of the city. I'm assuming you kind of pointed. It's like, you know, on top of the hill, over that way, three hours, blah blah blah. Cool. Meanwhile, Eric. Hello. Hello. So, you start heading through the city. Are you running through the city? Or are you just kind of I like... I am walking. Yeah, I figured it may be like a slow process. So, you start heading through. You weave round. Obviously, you need to get to the upper city. You head through the upper city. And can you roll perception? And if you can tell me if you think it would be at disadvantage or not, based on if you were paying attention. Yeah, it would be. Cool, yeah. Unless it involves the Runewood estate itself. No, because this, be this is you on the way to it. Okay. Yeah, so you don't kind of notice, but um, I was watching you as an audience, kind of see that as Eric's kind of like working his way through the city and then heads up through the gates to the upper city and whatnot. More so when he gets to the upper city, he starts getting the strangest looks from people um, like is it the firebird no no it's the fact that you are a rainwood my bird's not on fire it rose out of the fire uh, it just looks like a sort of normal hawk yeah like if you look oh, at it oh my like head it was a fiery hawk maybe it's got fire in its eyes yeah, it's probably got like little magical effects on it, but it's not specifically like it's made of magic, but it can look just like a normal bird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you start to get obviously closer to the, uh, like the estate site, as it were, and obviously more and more people like start to, like have hushed conversations as you walk past and whatnot, um, because you know it's almost like you're recognisable in the upper city more so than the lower city, and yeah, you get to the site of where your house should be, and. It is, it's just a massive, massive crater. Like the, you know, as if somebody has done what I described where they took a spoon and scooped out your house and then... <laughs> yeah. So you're kind of like... A, I mean, I guess the gates are still there? Okay, the gates are still there. I've pushed the gates open and you've walked to the edge of the crater and I'm just staring in the middle of it. Yeah, and as you push through the gates, um. You roll Arcana for me. Cool. There is definitely something that happened as soon as you walked through the gates. A magical effect of some kind has like rippled over you. Um, maybe even the bird actually like shuffles uncomfortably um, from your shoulders and like squawks a bit. Alako. And uh, you get to like the edge and then there's like a kind of almost um, rippling voice it kind of starts to like waver through your mind and you can try and fight it off if you want or you could welcome it in what do you want to do listen to it yeah and it's a the equivalent of a magical voicemail uh, that says <laughs> lord rinwood i have your family bitch seek me out in omen and it's Clearly, the voice of Magna, the king. Ah, bastard. Uh, so what do you okay, do? You I'm, get to the edge, and then that kind of like that voice like ripples over you. 
just I'd, I'd recognise it as Magda, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you've slept in his bed. I'd hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're laughing, but he has. <laughs> <laughs> Naked too. That, that's concerning. He's very concerned. Does that be... maybe mean oh. that um, not the Draco, the Kana, the Kana was working with him? I mean, it could suggest that, or you jump into conclusions. Mm. Well, sometimes conclusions are there to be jumped to, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't... We're, she was looking for the influence of her brother, not the influence of Magna. Remember as well, like, remember the Golden Order and the King don't have the best relationship, so... Mm. Mm -hmm. True. Right now, Eric is feeling anger. He just grabs hold of his hammer and just throws it into the crate. Yeah, and I think there is like a the tiniest feeling of reluctance from the hammer, if that makes sense. Like not in like a sentience type way, but in a kind of you're attuned to it. So like the whole point is you are you know, belong together. So there's that moment of you know the hammer doesn't want to be thrown, right? And then you just lob it in. Yeah, I think it, we just have this kind of wide angle shot of you just throwing it and it just like slowly like arcing through there and like smacking into like the side of the, the crater and it just like slowly rolls down. I think by this point like a lacquer had flapped off, you know, and then it's like landed back on your shoulder after you've thrown it. Yeah. Honk. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> Goddamn goose! <laughs> goose shuffles away quickly with the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, good. I just I fall to my knees at this point, and I'm just staring at the crater, <laughs> more more or less at the hammer. Mm -hmm. Just like, what do I do? Is lost at this point. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do? You're just sat and kind of like, yeah, maybe like you kind of crouch down. Your feet are hanging in the crater that way. And you're just kind of sat there, and like maybe a lack will like jumps off your shoulder and just starts to like wander around the side of you, if you know what I mean. Like, kind of giving you that moment you clearly need where it's not just sitting on your head. And then, um, yeah, you're kind of staring into this crater hammer at the like near the bottom of it, I guess. I guess at this point in time, you just take it in. I'm just taking it in. You just absorbing the fact that I just I've done this but luckily the family isn't here mm. but on the other hand they are in Omen which is yeah, uh, the capital yeah it's like however huh. you now have an invite to Omen which is a rare indeed thing. he didn't say and friends though yeah that's what I was just about to ask no he did it, not <laughs> it, it, it's literally just for Eric Ah, a thought crosses my mind. He jumped down into the crater and could pick up the hammer. No! <laughs> I'm bringing Omen here. You haven't been charging it? Mm. Not yet, but I'm about to. Uh, you can do it in one turn, yeah. Well, yeah, I was going to say, he has a fully charged sorcerer, so it's okay, you can manage it. And I think we worked out that you can do two jumps, like you can charge it twice or in a full Eric. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I feel full Eric. Eric. <laughs> twice. Never go full Eric. Never. <laughs> Look at the crater. Never go full Eric. Um, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, just yeah. start charging it. Okay. Yeah, and we have the the, the same scene. Maybe Alaka looks slightly worried as it stares on at you, and then um, yeah, you start like funneling in like all your like cuts and stuff appear all over your body and they'll start glowing red as they feed in all this kind of red vaporish energy from you into the the jewel and the only thing that kind of maybe goes through your your kind of mind is this feels right you and the hammer you know and then you uh, i had a little spat but now i'm like no we have a job to do yeah, so yeah, you can charge the hammer, mark off sorcery points and whatever spell slots you're burning. Yep, done that. Cool. And uh, 
I now think, well, actually, I'm the bin to omen. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the film. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Small child appears in front of you. <laughs> I I ha I've, I've got zero sorcery points, so I'm like, I'm also glow and blue. I have no intention of uh, um, not glow and blue. Because he's because uh, at the minute I'm feeling kind of like I want to get my family back, uh -huh. so I just kind of think of Omen, like right pictures I've seen of it. I just hit the hammer. Okay. <laughs> I swear to God, if it brings me all the books I've seen, I'm gonna fucking throw the hammer a million miles away and never come back. It's a strong strength score you've got for a million miles away. Um. Right, so you're thinking of Omen, where you've never been, that is only accessible by invitation. Okay, yeah, go for you it. The, I, I thought you would have thought of the room that you ended up in. That's not in Omen. That was somewhere, vaguely. Yeah. <laughs> and the Wizard King did say this will, once you leave, this will cease to exist. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. It's like a room of requirement. <laughs> Wizard King turns up, he's left his fucking clothes. Oh no, the clothes have gone. The vanish forever, no! <laughs> you meet Magnum, he's trying them on. <laughs> I like blue. I see so, why you like blue. Do you want to hit the hammer? Oof. Oof. Mm. That's not good. Also, you haven't edited it yet. I ain't, I ain't got rid of that. That's okay. Unless there's another plus five on it, it's struck. <laughs> it's not going to matter. So, what happens is, you swing the hammer, you got to hit the ground, obviously, to pull you in. Um, here's the thing, Kitty. Would a Lacko instinctively go with him or not? Well, I told him to stay with him. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> if you had a wider range on detecting uh -oh. it, it'd be so good because, like, the GPS ping would go from like one place to like halfway across the map, and you'd be like, "Wait, what?" Yeah, I mean, I'd probably sense there's like a disruption in the connection. Oh, this ping goes way up. Oh, yeah. um. <laughs> this, this was an angry swing as well. It wasn't a, yeah, it was a more like it really, hammer went above head and slams it into the floor. It's like you wanted to break something kind of swing. Yes, it was a Krumba-esque swing. Yay! Swing. So... Here's what happens. We swing the hammer down and it doesn't connect with the ground. It hits something before it hits the ground. What? Yeah. So your glowing blue eyes through like your like, I don't know, magically windswept hair, I guess. Um and you look up. The hammer does pulse like it tried. The magic went out. And then there's you can see there's like a hand holding the hammer as if it's just put its hand out to cup it to stop the impact. What? What? Ayo. Hey, so, so, did, so did you the lift... magic go out the hammer? Yeah. Paying attention you would see it all crawl up this person's arm. And you slowly look up. And Celeste is staring back at you with her deep galactic eyes that she has. <laughs> And we take our break there. So. Sky Mother is back! <laughs> Appreciate uh, what? So, let's Mother. get back in like, I don't know, 10 minutes, guys, and we'll do Yeet. part two. See you soon. Yep, yep. Bye. Yes, please. <laughs>